Okay, we're coming to you from PA Biodiesel Supply. This is more of the ultimate force um, owner's manual, I guess. Okay, you've got the centrifuge. Now, this is a brand new one. You know, we haven't used it, so I'll, I'll talk about some things that we just don't have the props for. Okay, you've shut it down, okay? Once it's done spinning, okay, and not till it's done, that's where the oil falls to the bottom of the bowl and drains out. Um, we use a clear braided hose down the side of our tote into a five gallon carboy. Okay, every time you shut it, you shut it off, you're losing half a gallon, a little over half a gallon. Not really sure time-wise how long that takes you for it to drain, but in any case, you'll know because your braided hose, you'll see that it's um, not running. Okay, I'm going to pull this out. That's the supply to it. Okay, now realize this. There's going to be residual oil in this. So when this is laying down, you're going to want a container under it. Okay? Okay. Okay, I pull this off, set this up right. There's residual oil here. Um, if you held it like that, it would, you know, start to run over time. But like I said, for the most part, it's just a residual amount. Okay, here's the bowl. We're going to remove it. You're going to take a 8 millimeter, okay, holding the bowl, putting it in the nut. Turning counterclockwise. It's as easy as it is, okay? Now, I'm if I'm using this bowl, like mine's mounted on a tube, I have a cardboard box filled with newspaper. Basically, this is empty. There's a residual amount of oil. There's four holes, some will leak out. Um, I've used the same box for I couldn't tell you how long. This is the inside of the centrifuge, okay? The bowl spins. When the oil builds up to here, it is flung out around here, okay? That is where the clean oil comes. So the clean oil all accumulates here and drains down the three-quarter inch, okay? When you shut it off, everything that's in the bowl drains into here and out your contaminated oil train. That's as simple as it is. Um, we've removed the bowl. Now it's literally the four millimeter and you're talking six bolts. Okay. I um, after every tote of oil, I clean the, uh, the bowl. I suspect you could probably, and, and honestly, I couldn't tell you how much you can run. Again, oil is always the variable. Okay, if you ask someone who's selling equipment, well, how fast can I run? And, uh, and they tell you, you need to ask them, how do you know? You don't know how, how dirty my oil is or how much water that is in it. Think about it. There's two or three percent, or there's twenty percent of water. You're telling me it's all going to be removed at the same speed? It, it it doesn't work that way, people. Okay, we have a locking lid. <laughs> Wrong way. Okay, there we go. Turn the locking lid clockwise. Okay, there you have it. Contaminants would all be in here. Um, this is the accelerator. When the oil is coming in with this spinning, this will fling it, okay? So basically, the accelerator catches it and sends it to the bottom of the bowl, giving it the chance to go through the whole gamut. Uh, we also sell a liner that goes in it. Um, Is it a necessity? No. Doing motor oil, um, 60 to 70 percent of the time, I can wipe it out. But there's also that 30 to 40 percent of the time where I have to scrape it. Okay, the liner allows me to 
literally peel the liner out and it, it's the bowl's almost clean instantly then. You just wipe out the residual. Uh, that's as simple as it is. Okay. Putting it back together, we do the reverse. Turn it counterclockwise. I usually put these in finger tight. Well, picking them up seems to be a problem though. Now I can do this because it's clean and honestly once the bowl's cleaned I can set the bowl on a shelf or anything else because I wipe it wipe the outside out the inside's been cleaned out um, I do believe in keeping my equipment clean okay it, it just makes things easier okay before you put it in I usually tighten it every other screw and then I'll go around making sure every one of them is tightened down. Okay. Again, we have a locking lid. The lid locks right onto it. Put it on. Holding it. Turning it clockwise. Locks down. There you go. You're pretty much ready to clean more oil. Other than the couple minutes cleaning the bowl, and like I said, for the most part, I'm wiping it out with uh, paper towels. It might take two or three minutes. I always have a trash can right there to put my stuff in. Um, as stupid as it is, I always have a box right on top there to set my bowl in. Hope that's uh, in most of the equipment, mine or the competitors, might be a different bowl removal technique, but that's pretty much the way it all is. Pull the bowl out, clean it out, okay? Uh, hoping that helps. We're coming to you from PA Biodiesel Supply, home of the Ultimate Force Centrifuge, or the spinny thing. Thanks.